consciousness penetrates even during sleep for an enlightened one awareness will remain even in his sleep really consciousness penetrates in his sleep remember it depends but you can never deduce anything from outside always this is only possible from the inside what is a flower no one asks what is a flower also no one knows how to explain a flower yet we take it for granted that we know what is a flower when a seed blossoms to its full fruition know it as awakening flower is the awakened seed a flower is a process process of inner blossoming the process is both gradual and sudden but its spontaneity remains the key factor in both gradual and sudden processes the moment its innermost is blossom its beauty and fragrance and luster is spreads in the outer dimension something blossoms within inner joy or bliss is realized this is inner dimension this inner dimension is awakening or enlightenment its beauty fragrance and luster is spreads in the outer di dimension this is the way bliss is shared by a flower that has blossomed flower is the awakened state of the seed and seed is the beginning from where the journey begins buddha's disciple anand said to him after sleeping and living in the same room in the same place with buddha this is a miracle and this is really strange you never move during your sleep buddha always remained in one posture the whole night the way he would sleep in the beginning that would be the way he would come out of it and his hand will remain in exactly the same place where it was put you might have seen buddha's picture showing him sleeping his posture is called the lying posture he would remain in the same posture the whole night anand watched him for years whenever he would look at buddha sleeping he would be the same the whole night so anand das tell me what are you doing the whole night you remain in one posture buddha is reported to have said only once did i move during my sleep but then i was not awakened just before a few days just before just a few days before the enlightenment happened i moved during my sleep but then suddenly i became aware and i wondered why am i moving i moved unconsciously without any knowing on my part but after enlightenment there is no need if i want i can move but there is no need and the body is so relaxed you move during the sleep because the body is not relaxed there is a subtle relationship between body and the mind mind has so many suspended experiences means the experiences that have not been completed so because of that there remains a restlessness if you have completed all your experiences or actions that you have done and done them and you did them totally nothing will remain suspended in your consciousness consciousness penetrates even in sleep and every aspect of activity but you can have a fixed posture the whole night and you will not be you need not be enlightened you can practice it 
and it is not difficult you can force yourself then within a few days you will be able to do this but then it is this is not the point you look at jesus moving do you think why is he moving it depends if jesus moves during his sleep he is conscious if a buddha does not move during his sleep he is conscious if he wants to move he can move for an awakened one it happens quite differently osho is reported to have said before coming to awareness i slept always in one posture the whole night i do not remember ever moving but since then i have been moving the whole night even 5 minutes are enough for me in one posture i have to move again and again and i am aware that it is not a sleep at all really i have observed also during the night when i turn my posture or sight i am aware that the posture or the sight is being changed remember it depends but you can never deduce anything from the outside always this is only possible from inside for an enlightened one awareness will remain even during his sleep therefore in the state of awareness dreams are not possible a dream requires unconsciousness that is one thing also dream requires suspended experience this is the second thing and for the enlightened one there is no suspended experience suspended experience means an incomplete experience you are eating your experience of eating is not total you are doing anything and if it you were not totally into it it will remain a suspended experience suspended experience means an incomplete experience he is so total in each experience that no experience remains incomplete everything is complete during his waking state he has eaten his food and now he is not thinking about eating again when he feels hungry he will eat again but meanwhile there is no thought of eating he has taken his bath now he is not thinking of the bath tomorrow when the time comes if he is alive he will take it again if the situation permits it will happen but there is no thinking acts are there but the thinking is not there about them what are you doing you are constantly rehearsing but tomorrow like an actor and you are to show someone why are you rehearsing when the time comes you will be there earlier on i remembered when i started the teaching first lecture when i was to deliver i had to rehearse many times but now the moment a talk is to begin i am in front of the camera and the microphone and the talk begins the enlightened person lives in the moment in the act and he lives so totally that nothing remains incomplete if something is incomplete then it will be completed during a dream dream is the process of completion it happens because the mind cannot allow anything to remain incomplete if something is incomplete there is an inner easiness inner uneasiness it wonders how to complete it then in a dream you complete it and you are at ease once again even 
if it is completed in a dream the mind feels relaxed what are you dreaming you just you are just completing your incomplete acts or suspended experiences that you could not complete during the day the during the day you wanted to kiss a person and you could not do it now you will kiss that person during your dream and your mind will feel relaxed attention is released your dreaming is nothing but your incompleteness and an enlightened person is complete in all that he does moment to moment whatsoever he is doing he is doing it so wholly so totally that it, that nothing remains suspended to be completed during the dream there is no need for any dreaming dreaming in the night will cease and thinking during the day will cease so during the day you are thinking means something remains incomplete and during the night in through the dreams you will complete it it is not that he will become unable to think he can think if he needs if you ask him a question he will think immediately but there is no rehearsal and rehearsal is not needed first you think and then you reply but his reply is his thinking he thinks and replies simultaneously there is that is also good to say because actually there is no gap between thinking and the response it is simultaneous he thinks out loud and there is no rehearsal no thinking no dreaming he lives life with he lives life with thinking and dreaming you go on missing life witnessing is the way for inner journey god can be denied but not witnessing a dharma is really dharma only if it revolves around the foundation or the axle of witnessing if any dharma does not talk about talk of witness it is far from being called a dharma witnessing is the axle if through witnessing each act that you perform is completed and when nothing remains incomplete there is no suspended experience that need to be fulfilled during the night mind is relaxed you turn and toss during the night or through or you dream because the mind is not relaxed if the mind is relaxed then there is no need for such things enough for now Thank you.